Hi, welcome to NC Software. Here we will learn about NC Software and its different features. NC is a very famous and widely used simulation software. We can model different types of engineering problem here. So first, we will start NC Software and we will see its different features. So let's start ANSYS first. So if you go to start menu, you will find ANSYS workbench extension file. Click that extension file and your ANSYS will start. So here is your ANSYS workbench interface. As you can see in the left side, these are the analysis tool by which we can model different kinds of engineering problem. If you want to develop fluid flow problem, you can use these fluid flow CFX, fluid flow fluent software and fluid flow polyflow. If you want to develop structural problem, you can use static structure and transient structure if you want to develop thermal problem you can use static steady state thermal and transient thermal tool so these are the basic tool ansys workbench also provides you some individual tools among them, this geometry module, this meshing module, and ANSYS post process is important and useful. You have also turbo grids and blade gen, which is also very important. So now we will discuss about ANSYS geometry module. So our whole tutorial, we will focus on the Fluent software that is ANSYS Fluent. And we will discuss a lot about ANSYS Fluent. But before discussing about Fluent, first let's talk something about computational fluid dynamics or CFD so in this slide you can see the basic simulation approach there are three main parts of the simulation the first one is the pre-processing where you will develop your geometry and then you will mesh your geometry after meshing you will apply some boundary condition after that, the software will solve the whole case and the whole problem for you. When it solves the problem numerically, after that, you will post process it and you will see your desired results. So these are the basic three steps for any kind of simulation. First, you need to develop your geometry, then meshing, and then apply boundary condition. Then you solve your problem, and after solution, you post-process your solution, and you can see your desired results. So we will discuss everything here stepwise now we will see how fluent works so start fluent and in the project schematic you will see this table here you can see the steps for your simulation first you have the geometry you have to develop the geometry for your simulation after that you have the mesh option when you develop your geometry then you have to mesh it 
and then you have to give the boundary conditions and then it will solve the solution for you and finally you can post process your solution so these are the basic steps for fluent but today we will discuss about the geometry option and then we will keep going on we will discuss about meshing setup and everything but right now let's talk about ansys geometry module thank you so now we will try to see the geometry how to develop a geometry in fluent let's talk about a simple cfd problem this is a simple geometry flow over a cylinder we want to see the flow field around this cylinder and here you can see the domain and the cylinder and we will discuss how we can develop this geometry so as you can see this is the cylinder and this is the domain so we will see how we can develop this geometry because in fluent or uh, in any cfd software developing a geometry is little bit different than the conventional geometry so here is the model of our geometry as you can see the fluid domain and inside that fluid domain we have the cylinder so this cylinder is the solid part as we will develop the solid cylinder and the domain is our fluid part so it's very important to understand the fluid domain because when we will develop our geometry like the cylinder we also have to develop the domain because it will act like a wind tunnel if you consider this fluid domain as a wind tunnel you can see we will flow our fluid over the cylinder through this wind tunnel so the same thing we have to do here as you can see the cylinder and the domain you have the inlet and you also have the outlet so fluid will come from the inlet and it will go through the outlet like the wind tunnel we have to mimic the same problem in CFD so that's why we have to develop the fluid domain and then we have to cut our cylinder from that domain because ANSYS fluent will work on only the fluid domain now as you can see this fluid domain so this is our solid cylinder as we know this is the solid part we want to see the flow field around this cylinder and the rectangular box that rectangular box is our fluid domain so that box will act like a domain and we will cut our cylinder from that domain so that there will be nothing but a void space and fluent will consider that void space and the cylinder surface as a wall and it will take the fluid around that wall so first we need to develop our geometry and then we have to develop the fluid domain and finally we have to cut that solid body 
from the fluid domain and that's how you can develop your fluid domain in CFD so it's kind of a negative image of your solid body so when you have a solid you develop your domain and cut your solid from your fluid domain and that will be your fluid domain for the CFD in the next tutorial we will learn how to do that and some other features of ANSYS geometry module. Thank you.